And One Piece delivers again with chapter 668. Oh man, I'm so excited because today the big three manga that I read, Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach, have all been on par. And it's a toss up with which one I would say is chapter of the day. It's either One Piece or Bleach, but I really enjoyed One Piece because it really built up on the story and something unexpected happened in this chapter. Alright, so basically they, there's more talk about the whole alliance between Law and Loopy. Loopy, like, you know, deciding whether or not he should do it. And I was a little disappointed but still excited at who is the Yonko that you know Law wants to go after because Loopy asks okay so who's the Emperor and it's not said it's just like whispered you know it's like Oda didn't show it and whatnot and I'm assuming it's not Shanks um you know I don't think Loopy would agree if it was Shanks I'm still gonna say that but Loopy agrees and I'm like Loopy agreed I really 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 didn't think that Loopy would agree at all this that completely threw me off. I was like, Loopy agreed, really? And his and um his crew that was with him is like, you know, you shouldn't do it, we can't trust him, you know, the the they're the heart pirates and he you know <laughs> and um the fact that Loopy agreed, I'm a little shocked because, you know, normally Loopy is like, No, we're going on our own adventure and this and that, but it must be because it's either Blackbeard or Big Man. Big man, because, you know, he just had that whole argument with her, and he's like, I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to whip your butt, and all that stuff. So maybe he thinks that he might need Law's help for that, or Blackbeard to avenge. And this is a crazy theory, by the way, a really crazy out-of-the-park thing, but if you've seen the cover page of this chapter, it kind of led me to believe that it's Blackbeard, and here's why. The cover page is of Ace and Whitebeard's graves, and, you know, we see Whitebeard's, um, flag and his jacket and Ace's hat and his gun and you know the fact that he's talking about a Yonko it's possible that you know the cover page was like uh, I guess a little treat for anybody that could probably guess it and you know since Blackbeard was involved with their deaths then you know what do you guys think do you think that it's possible that Oda was foreshadowing with that cover page that he was talking about Blackbeard when you know he was mentioning the Yonko and that's why Loopy quickly agreed because he wants to get revenge for his brother and for the great Whitebeard you know that's just a crazy thing that that popped into my head and I thought you know it, it's definitely possible uh, either way I really wish Oda wouldn't have teased us like that like yeah we're gonna tell you and no we're not gonna know but the fact that Loopy agreed is crazy I can't wait to see you know where this goes as far as this partnership between the Straw Hats and the Heart Pirates and it's just funny seeing Law in this element of like, because, you know, Straw Hat's a friendly chummy. They put Chopper on his head. Oh, the Chopper part of this chapter really made me LOL out loud. I was laughing out loud like, oh, man, that was so funny because they finally got back. A couple of them got back into the normal body. I believe it was just um, Chopper and Frankie switched bodies and whatnot. And I was just like, oh, man, because Chopper's there laid out um, all bandaged up, and Frankie's like, yeah, super, I'm back in my body, and Chopper is like, yeah, but what do you do to mine, and he's all messed up, and that just had me laughing, I was like, the, the Chopper stuff never ceases to amaze me, it's, it's always so funny, and then, um, I forgot who it was that said something like, Loopy hit him like he was hitting a Kraken, because, you know, he just destroyed Chopper, funny stuff, really funny stuff. So, but that kind of puts Chopper out of commission. So, whenever there's a big battle, don't expect Chopper to do much because he's just there laid out. And uh, also, the chapter another big thing that happened is um, because we find out that Caesar Clown wants to take down the government because he went rogue four years ago after the big incident. And he unleashes this big slime. It's called the slime. I guess it's a, a creature of Punk Hazard. And it's just like this avalanche just taking people that are trying. This is going to be crazy. I wonder how, how can Loopy and them even fight something like that? A, a big slime monster. Uh, it's going to be crazy. And I'm just really excited to see this partnership between Luffy and Law. It's going to be epic. Like, you know, th this chapter definitely set up something awesome. Um, you know, it had a lot of different things to it. Again, the One Piece comedy. But th the comedy in this one really had me laughing. The chopper stuff, that really got me. Um, you know, the, the partnership. Unfortunately, we didn't know who they're going after. But, and then, you know, the whole explanation of him. You know, he's betraying Caesar Clown at that. Because, you know, Caesar Clown thinks him and Law are in cahoots. But he's actually going to betray him. So, that really got me interested. And overall, just a lot of, again, One Piece chapter that has a lot of great elements to it. But suspense, comedy, a little bit of action, you know, everything in it. Um, oh, another funny one, in my opinion. Second funny, not the funniest thing, was 
No, I mean, not getting her body back. She's still in Sanji's body. Um, you know, I wonder what's going to happen with, you know, Zoro and them because they were still laid out, you know, with the Yeti Cool Brothers. Well, the Yeti Cool Brothers are gone now, but they knocked them out. So are they dead? You know, you know what's going on? I'm sure they're not dead, but are they? Ca I'm assuming they probably captured by now or something because they were, they were knocked out. So I want to see more of that. And overall, really good chapter. I really can't complain about anything other than that. I wanted to know who was the Yonko that they're going after. Um, you know, any predictions? Do you think that my prediction is right about the cover page foreshadowing that it's Blackbeard? Or do you think it's Big Mam or even Shanks or um, Kaido? You know, who do you think is the emperor that they're going to go after? And what are your overall thoughts of the chapter? Did you enjoy it? Was the chopper joke the funniest to you? Was the Nami joke? And are you excited to see this battle with the big slime? I know I am, but... Let me know. Uh, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for this craziness of a chapter and just overall craziness of excitement for the next one. I'm Fanella World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.